The Prime Minister of the State of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu, has requested the Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Sozland, Dr. Sibosiso Panabas Lamini, to identify three areas of cooperation where the State of Israel can assist technically. Receiving the high-powered delegation from the Kingdom of Swaziland, Prime Minister of the State of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu, expressed his appreciation that ever since 1968, the two countries have been good friends. Prime Minister Netanyahu expressed his devastation by the act of terrorism that happened in some parts of Europe recently. You come at a, uh, at a difficult time, not here, but uh, in Europe. There were deadly attacks yesterday in, uh, in Ankara, in which the Russian ambassador was killed. When you murder a diplomat, this is the height of terror. There appears to be a terrorist attack also in Germany, where uh, German citizens were killed, and an Israeli citizen was gravely wounded. Uh, we send our condolences to the uh, government of Germany and to the families of the people that were killed, and we wish a speedy recovery to the wounded. Uh, we will win this fight against the terrorists, and together we will win it faster. Reacting to that, the Prime Minister, Dr. Panabas Esposito Tlamini, says the world should be united in the fight against terrorists, as they are posing a serious threat to peace and stability. On the purpose of the official visit, His Excellency the Prime Minister, Dr. Panabas Esposito Tlamini, requested that the skills Israelis have be imparted to Swazis. We have many skills that we need in Swaziland. And we hope that during our discussions we will focus on those skills. Prime Minister Netanyahu gave the Swazi government two months to identify three areas of cooperation where the Israel government can assist. Gosnasi Lamini reporting for Swazi Television News from Tel Aviv, Israel.